Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jay. In this tutorial series, I'll be going over the Python library, Excel Wings. Excel Wing is one of the most popular open source library to program Excel uh, using Python. In the past, I've written a lot of VBA automation. I used to be a, a one of those uh, Excel developer, but these days when you have to work with uh, more data and the volume of the data is getting larger. And I found the need to uh, be able to integrate my Excel uh, workbook or my Excel file with uh, third-party uh, data source or APIs. And unfortunately, VBA doesn't provide very good uh, functionalities or interface when you have to work with a uh, third-party API. For example, uh, one of my primary uh, job responsibility is to work with Salesforce data. And in Excel, there's no uh, really good option to directly to use uh, Salesforce API. But in Python, you can actually use a package called uh, Simple Salesforce to interact with uh, Salesforce API. So that leads to uh, another question. Uh, what Python library or package you can use you know, to basically be the middleman to to allows you to uh, manipulate Excel file at the same time to work in Python. And I find Excel Wings uh, package to be pretty reliable and, uh, and the package is pretty easy to use. And if you don't come from a uh, VBA development background, then I'll suggest you use uh, Excel Wings as your first choice. But if you're coming from an Excel development background, and who, or someone who has been writing VBA uh, for a while, then I'll suggest you use a different library called uh, Wings32 Com package. And that package allows you to directly uh, interact with the Windows uh, object component. And just because if you use that package, uh, the syntax is very uh, similar to the VBA um, object model. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install the package. And let's open our command prompt. So here, let me activate my virtual environment. And give me a second. Now to install the Excel Wings library, so what you want to do is you want to do a pip install Excel Wings. All right, now uh, once we finish, uh, let's open our Python editor. So here I have my editor already open. Uh, for the first part of the tutorial, I'll be just going over just the basic usage, like how to create a blank Excel workbook, how to link to an existing Excel workbook, as well as how to automate some of the uh, data entry tests using Excel Wings. So to start out, I'm going to import the Excel Wings package first. And here to create a new workbook, so we can uh, actually go back, let me assign the uh, library to XW. And to create a blank workbook, so here I'll assign um, the object to a variable called WB, stands for workbook. From the XW uh, package, there's a method called book. And if you just run, uh, oops, I mean, so if I just run these two lines, and I'll basically create a blank workbook. And to save this workbook, so here we'll grab the WB object and we'll do save followed by the name that you want to name to your Excel file. So here I'm going to name the Excel file test.xlsx and save. Now the name saved to the, the Excel file and I saved this file uh, within my tutorial folder. So I have a folder called Excel Wings and here's the file. So let me create a new file. And I'm going to call this uh, test2.xlsx. 
And now if I need to reference to the existing uh, Excel file, and here what you want to do is, so I'm going to call this uh, object WB test. And here, grab the XW uh, library. We want to use the book method and followed by the, the file path. So here, since my Excel file I already uh, placed within the same directory as my script, so I can just reference the file directly. And should we test two? And here's the file. So here's the test to the Excel X file. And let me close the test uh, Excel workbook. So we'll use the the test to uh, Excel workbook as my as for our exercise. And let me put it side by side so you will see uh, what's going on uh, to, throughout this tutorial. Now we know how to uh, create a blank Excel workbook as well as how to reference uh, existing workbook. So here, let me come these two lines. So here, uh, our WB test uh, workbook object instance is right now is linked to this to the uh, test to Excel workbook. Now we can freely manipulate this Excel file from our Python environment. So let me do this. So let me. Uh, create a couple more uh, tabs. So I'm going to call this uh, tab one, and tab two, and tab three. To reference existing worksheets, so here we want to take the WB test object instance, and there's a method called sheets. So we can either provide the index number or provide the worksheet name. So for the index number, uh, I since always starting from zero. So let me do this. So let me name this uh, WS1. And I'm going to just run this line right here. And so if we do, uh, so if we just print WS1.name, and that will give us the, uh, the washi name. Okay, we're saying that uh, WS print is not defined. So that means the index is starting from zero, now one. Tab two, -ish. actually it should be one. Oh, here we go, so yeah, it could be a typo before. So the starting uh, sheet index is always starting from zero. And so it will be the first tab and one will be the second tab. But for me, I prefer to use the name just because uh, that's more uh, easier to read. And here I'm going to copy this lump code uh, twice. And I'll name this tab two, tab three. And let me run uh, these three lines again. Let me clear that out. So let's say we want to enter some data in uh, tab one. In this, uh, so takes the WS1 worksheet uh, instance in this uh, range method. The range method basically is uh, a ref is used to a reference a cell in Excel. So here, if I want to enter uh, a value in range cell reference A1. So you want to provide the name and followed by that value. And here I'm going to call this uh, hello there. And run this line of code. And here's our, uh, our first uh, automated data entry test. And if you need to enter a range of values, so here we can uh, basically uh, specified our uh, cell reference range. So let's say A1 to E20, that value. And here I'll uh, use, I'll assign value of 100. And that will basically uh, populate 100 
from A1 to E20. In VBA, there's also a different uh, method to reference the cell reference, and the method is called sales. And I'm kind of glad that in Excel Wings, uh, they kept the, the sales uh, method. And the sales method is it's a lot easier to uh, identify your your Excel uh, worksheet coordinate. So instead of providing uh, the actual name range, and we can use the coordinate value. So let me clear this out. I believe uh, clear content. Oops, uh, that didn't now work. Here's the typo. Mm, okay, I think uh, I think Excel wings they use clear the contents. Let me try this. Oops. Contents. So, um, oh, it should be underscore contents. So this one of the thing I found Excel wings to be a little bit more uh, difficult for me to use sometimes. It's because I'm so used to writing uh, VBA, and so here in Excel, when the the object and text uh, sometimes a little bit different. So here uh, in Excel, we'll do uh, sales that clear contents well the underscore, but in Excel, when uh, the the clear content method comes with the underscore, but just something to uh, to remember. Okay, and that clears the, the content of my entire Excel worksheet. Now to use the sales method to enter values. So here we want to provide the, the coordinates. And so we want to provide the X and Y, so rows and columns. And for the rows, so let's do one. And for the column, let's do one as well. So that'll be uh, first row, first column. And we can also use the name as well. So for, uh, for the row index, it's always going to be number, but for the column, it can be uh, number or, or the letter uh, reference. So here I'm going to enter a value in column B as well. And this will be uh, 100, and this will be 200. And here's our uh, 100 and 200 values. Now let's create uh, a simple table. So let me clear this and let me move, remove the, these two lines right here. And to create a simple table in Excel Wings, so here we'll take the the worksheet instance, and always and it's always going to be the your starting point. So one of the things that Excel Wings does so much better than uh, WingCom Wing32 Com libraries, if you have to work with uh, Pandas or MapleLib libraries, Excel Wing library integrate with uh, those libraries uh, really, really nicely. But here to create a table, so we want to figure out our starting point. And I'm going to uh, generate my table starting from self reference A1. And here we want to use a list. So list within a list. And the first um, list. Uh, sets is going to be our column so let's do column A and column B and our second set of lists will be our, our second row of value so here I'll do 10, 20 and this will be uh, row number 3 let me do 30 and 40 Oops, I'll expect indents. Indents. Let me move this back. Okay, so here we go. Now here's our simple table. So we have column A and B. And first row, second row. And let me clear this up. You can also uh, type the values directly using a list. So you don't have to use a list within a list. That's only when you have to uh, create a table. So here, if I need to create um, a list of values, so this will create uh, 
value from 100 to 300 across. But if you need to uh, enter values uh, in a row orientation, you know, from A1 to, let's do A1 to uh, A5. And so here, let me add two more values. And want to uh, insert an option method after the range method. So the option method allows you to basically uh, convert your your data set like the data type and how you want to transpose your data and so on. And I'll be going over different options properties in a separate video. But for the first video, I'm trying to keep things um, as simple as possible. But to basically to transpose the your uh, your data, I want to use a property called transpose. And what's oh. P-O transpose, okay. And you want to set the property value to two and that value. Now let me clear the content. And if I just run this line right here, and that will enter the values from top to bottom. And the last thing I want to show you is how to read data from your Excel worksheet. And to read data, so here is very similar to most of the programming language. And here, figure out uh, which worksheet you want to uh, grab the data, you want to read the data. And here, I want to read my data from the first tab. So here's my WS1 uh, worksheet instance. And here, uh, using the range uh, method, and just write down the, the cell reference address, and which is a1.value. And I'll print the and I'll read the, the value of uh, cell reference A1. And if you need to read a uh, list of uh, cell cell range, so let's do. Uh, so here let me mainly type the, uh, the the table, and this will be this plus thousand. Right. From the the range method, there's a oops, and there's a expand uh, method underneath that, and followed by that value. So here, uh, the range the expand method is very similar to the current region method in FBA, and which automatically expand the cell range based on the, the cell reference that you specify. So here, let me print uh, this line right here. And I'll basically print uh, the value as a list within a list. All right, guys. So this is seen for part one of the tutorial. For the next video, I'll show you how to call a Python function from Excel. So basically, you can write uh, different functions or methods in, in Python and call those method functions uh, in Excel using the Excel wins adding. If you have any question or any feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.